Aviation manufacturing requires skill, but employers face a skills gap. Formed in 2012 with a $15 million grant from the U.S. Department of Labor, the National Aviation Consortium is closing the gap. NAC empowers aviation employers to identify and standardize required competencies. The consortium is led by Wichita Area Technical College and headquartered at the National Center for Aviation Training in Wichita, Kansas. Whether you're the local person uh, seeing it for the first time or the out-of-stater who uh, is interested in aviation, you cannot help but walk away from this facility thinking something very good is happening in Wichita, Kansas. NAC partner colleges in five states will provide accelerated training to more than 2,500 students with the goal of placing qualified workers in unfilled jobs. NAC is using a sector-based strategy that builds upon the success of the National Association of Manufacturers and its Manufacturing Institute Skills Certificate System. Training will focus on six key credentials. Assembly Mechanic, Electric Assembler, Composite Repair, quality assurance, tooling, and CNC. Industry leaders are quick to recognize the potential of such efforts. Clearly industry is highly involved in this grant because what is taught and what's important is absolutely critical for us getting out of this system, out of this process, employees who are ready to go to work for us. John Deeker, Vice President of Operations at Bombardier Learjet agrees. He explains that NAC works closely with communities and industry to ensure that technical training is up to date and available to support both growth projections and the technical evolution of required skills. NAC plays a critical role in training the existing workforce and those citizens desiring to participate in this dynamic industry we call aviation. Jennifer McNelly, president of the Manufacturing Institute, sees other benefits to industry. She argues that employers engaged in the NAC have plants in multiple locations. Standardizing and lifting the expectations from education will help them with workforce planning and hiring practices across their many plants. It will also improve the entering workforce at tier two to three suppliers that locate in those areas. Jim Walters, Vice President of Human Resources for Cessna, says NAC will provide relevant and timely resources, prepared workers for current and future industry workforce needs. This effort and partnership is a key element to a globally competitive industry and community. One of the most exciting things about this grant is the way that it, it stair steps credentials for someone who's coming into the industry with the ability to provide a pathway for them from entry level all the way to the highest grades that we need inside the industry. The U.S. aviation industry needs a highly skilled workforce. The National Aviation Consortium exists to help meet this need. By working with industry to identify competencies and standardize instruction, NAC partners are providing accelerated training to prepare a workforce with in-demand skills. That's good news for aviation employers, employees, and all who fly.